devil of darkness you will not have your candidate become the president of Nigeria you will not you will not you mocking devil I break your influence in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ follow me you will be declared winner on falsehood the Lord I saw Peter will be crying red eye in tears proper tears I saw Atiku like this I told Atiku four years ago I told this team four years ago that they will never sit become the president of Nigeria and that stay within his stone he will never he will never so there's nothing to bother he should just go home and keep his money the 2020 election was an interesting one as various predictions made by religious leaders on who will win the presidential seat grew stead and crushed hopes. Unlike in the past, where religious leaders avoided political activities and decisions, 2023 was a different story. Local and foreign preachers projected who will win the 2023 presidential election in 2022 and in 2023. This is a force in Nigerian history that religious affiliations and tribal sentiment were why voters cast ballots and politicians sought the popular support. While some priests have remained silent on the election's outcome, others projected who will be the elected president of Nigeria. Some have persuaded their members to obtain their permanent voters card and have influence who they vote for. Let somebody else come. That is more honorable than these demonic agents moving up and down with bags of money looking for who to bribe, whose PVC to buy, whose vote to buy, to come and sit in power to do nothing and become a concern to everybody and be making more medical trips than any meaningful, meaningful life. Liabilities, liabilities to everybody. Liabilities to everybody. Today, Father, let their money fail. Amen. Let their money fail. This is despite the Christian Association of Nigerian Leaders call to all Christians and churches to avoid partisanship during the 2023 elections. Most politicians running for office respect pastors not only for their spiritual authority but also for the impact they have on their vast contribution. The most frequently used words by these religious leaders who predicted the outcome of the next elections is that Nigerians will be shocked. Pastor Christo Yaklume, the General Overseer of Christ Embassy Church, shared what the angel of the Lord told him about the three major candidates in one of the sermon before the February 25 election. The second one. I said, what about, what about him? What about the second one? He said, if you let him get in office, you will have no country. I said, Lord? Who well, let the second one in office will have no country. He said, you will have no country. I saw the third one. He was afraid. He was afraid he might win now. He was afraid of losing. He didn't want to lose, but he was almost scared of winning. I said, Lord. Then he says, pray. I said, God of heaven, give him wings to fly. But the first one, because of what it was, I won't mention the name. Neither will I mention the name of the second one. But the third one. The third one. His name is in the Bible. Let me finish. And in the spirit, I saw the first one I mentioned yesterday. And it was a devil, an evil spirit, a wicked spirit that was wearing his face. 
meaning that he doesn't even know what he's doing while he's campaigning and running for president. He's being used. A wicked spirit of darkness. And the spirit was a mocker. According to Pastor Chris' prophecy, the only contender whose name appears in the Bible is the Labour Party Peter Obi, who finished third in the presidential race. Primate Ayodele, the leader of INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, disclosed in a statement signed by his media head that Atiku have been given a mission from God to fix the country within four years if he wins the election. He went on to say that a northern vote will determine the election's victory and that if the poll is held, Atiku will win in the north. Pastor Faye Daniels of the Iran Christian family declared in a viral video on February 19, 2023 that all progressive party candidate Bola Ahmed Tinubu will be named president of Nigeria. His prophecy took a turn when he stated Tinubu will be arrested by security forces on the day of his inauguration, adding that an interim government will rule Nigeria before Peter Obi became president. A revolution is coming. A greater than NSAS is coming. People, the doors will be shut. You will not go to work. You will be in your houses. How will this revolution start? Hear me. How will the revolution start? Somehow, the information will spill out that the election was rigged. And the youth will get to the street. It won't just be Lagos. It will be almost every state of Nigeria. The youth will get to the street and they will start the protests. These protests will be will lead to a revolution. You hear me? Peter will be will go to court. He will go to court. And the day for swearing him to Nubu will come. I saw white, I saw green. About to be sworn in that day. And everybody that has said he's the next president will be rejoicing. We say, yes, I told you. Prophet, I don't see far. Was I tell you? Did I tell you to the who is the next president? And while at that event, looks like a very open ground, like a stadium like center. Mass, mass. You know, I'm, I'm telling you what we happened. So, uh, while at that event, military men will come in and they will arrest you. I'm playing the movie before you have it. So that you will know that prophecy is not just calling people's name. Mark my word too. I'm speaking from my office. I'm not speaking by a gift. He will be arrested. And at that point, an interim government will rule Nigeria. The interim government will not be long, and after a while, a court will declare will be as winner of the election. Then I saw Peter Obi in Azorok. I saw him giving speech as a president of Nigeria, but not May 29th. Prophet Jeremiah Fafeni, founder of Christ's Mercy Deliverance Ministry in Worry, recorded a video in 2022 predicting Tinubu's victory in 2023 election. Fufei stated that white people were about to celebrate a candidate's victory and on the announcement, mild joy. I'm seeing only two people are contesting. Two people contesting in other words, the two people that who are the mean, the mean people. And these two people that are contesting, physically you are seeing three, but two that have the fights. And these two people are contesting, suddenly somebody won. When the person won, as people were now shouting, another media just came and superseded the media that first making noise. 
first of all listen to me well they will announce somebody that who is going to win and when the person win, win, wins then another person another media media was all taking place everywhere taking place they hey, don't we know they don't we know before you know another one come up from nowhere announcements just come and super the other one salads and i saw another presidential candidate taking another presidential candidate we must go to court we must go to where we must go to what we also prefer that but what I want to tell you people, evil seek, the Lord told me, evil seek that be that one of the seats count six months from the swine in, there must be a changes. The Lord I have our cry. What you are passing through this year. What you have passed through for the past days, but nobody can control, everybody crying. But this person that who will be at the seat, who will be at the seat, six months, six months, the things are started changing for good, not for bad. For good, for good, for good. Prophet Ubert Angel, the leader of Spirit Embassy Ministry, had revealed in some of his sermon prior to the poll that APC candidates will win the 2023 election. Because most prophets and pastors claim divine revelation comes from a single common source, the appearance of two or more prophecy on the same issue invalidates the prophecy and proves that they are not from God. Imagine standing here and being shown Nigeria, the elections of Nigeria. The Lord literally showed me the winner of the elections. So I thought today, let me make it clear. Say Bola. Bola. Say Bola. Bola. According to God, Tinubu will win. God is not for Tinubu, but Tinubu is set to win. I saw an angel moving out of Nigeria, Nigeria, and I heard the word Bola. Bola! Listen to me. <laughs> when the Lord has spoken, you don't ask no more. If you are in Nigeria, who comes from Nigeria here? What the Lord ministered to me was very simple about Nigeria, and I've said it over and over again. The real choice for Nigeria would be Obi. But let me tell you this there are no polling stations on Twitter, no polling stations on social media. So he's popular there, but not in the ballot box.